window washer got stuck on the side of a building. Perfect problem for a Spider-Man to solve. Frustrated washer guy. Spider Man, thank God you're here. Power short circuited on my platform. I'm stuck. I can carry you down, or I can power up the platform. Uh, platform sounds better. Relays and we'll be in business. Uh oh. Ah, that didn't sound good. Energy load must have reset the circuit. Maybe if I follow these wires, I can restore the power at the other end. Hang tight, sir. I'll get you back up soon. A generator. Go. That should do it. Just gotta reset the breaker now. Looks like the power's reaching the breaker. We got power. Nice. You saved me. Oh man, I don't know how to thank you. It was no trouble. Really. A lost cat, eh? Okay, okay. Now you're talking my language. I know this game. My discerning listeners about Roxxon's security moves. On the one hand, this is fair. There are some of the same concerns I have about Spike. These are not law enforcement officers and do not answer to the same standard. On the other hand, Roxxon has every right to protect its property and interests. 
And many of the skirmishes people are concerned about started because Spider-Man broke and entered into Roxxon's places of business. Now I'm told these incidents have died down. But I ask, the stranger in a skin-tight suit burst into your bedroom at night. What would you do? No, no, wait, that was rhetorical. Jared, shut down the comments. You people are sick. Should be the missing cat man. <laughs> hey, you having cat troubles? Yeah, Vector, my cat, ran out while I was grabbing the mail. Here, he loves this bag. If you find him, he'll crawl right in. Are cats in backpacks like a thing? Uh, do you have anything with Vector's scent? Right here, his favorite toy. Cute. Quick scan. And I got a trail. Hold tight. That was coming home. <laughs> Up onto those school buses. A oh, little guy's nimble. Yep. Dead rat. Good for Vector. Sad for rat. On the right trail, though. Went under the bus. Into the sewers. I'll follow from street level, thank you. Bet it's warmer in the sewers. Probably also pungent. Err. Nope. Vector didn't surface here. Didn't come out here. Please don't make me go sewer splunking, Vector. Trail picks up. He climbed out here. Safe from a sewer search. Never would have gotten that smell out of my suit. Vector's calling. Still warm. I'm close. Game recognized game. Vector's got no fear. What under that HVAC stuff? Time to crawl. Vector! Hold up, bud. Coming! Found you! Oh, boy. You got that real New York smell now, Vector. Wow. Time to head home. Here you go. Thank you. Ooh, ooh, wow. Wow. That's a smell. Oh, Vector, you've earned a full body scrub, pal. Cute cat. Let's get in some Steve? Things, but... Mad cute.
think that's the person who wants a selfie? Spider-Man, hi. I know you're busy, but could I get a selfie with you? Oh my god, thank you. Pose right there. Thanks, Spider-Man. Never seen a gas line blow like that. Good thing you got here as fast as you did. All right, move along. Keep moving. Stay close up. We'll start, sir. Other guys are telling me you got an app. I'm usually bad with technology, but for you, I'll check it out. New York is so cool.
Rock Summon Zero, Spider-Man, I lost count. school here? Step up to the prompt and live the story for yourself. Oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> On the very first day of class. Go back into the bird seat, Spider-Man! <laughs> Sorry, that's, that's my bad culture. Oh, Pete had fun with this. Culture's old research partner, Greg Bessman, taught at ESU. Vulture tried to take Bestman out. I tried to stop him. I'll tell you what, Miles. This fight was hard. Love Pete's story. Always meddling, Spider-Man. Why won't you let me commit my senseless, overly dramatic crime to me? I feel like Pete's working out some stuff with this Vulture imitation. I'm old. I'm old and I hate you. Get off my lawn. Early bird special. Casual racism. <laughs> Too real. Have I told you I like Shakespeare? I do. I love him. But I miss you. <laughs> no! No! It was a tough fight, but he was weakening. Then, just as I thought I might actually win, Vulture's eviler twin brother showed up to help. No, actually, you overdoed me. I was exhausted. Was Man, like Two vultures? Aw, oh, yeah. Let's get weird. How does it feel to be a metaphor for useful and experienced? Vulture number two. Great vulture number one. I love being used to illustrate the importance of pacing yourself during a battle. How long did Pete spend making this? Hey, Vulture number two, when should you buy a bird? When it's going cheap. Ah! I've been waiting for the bird jokes to come out. Why are we so evil, Vulture number two? Because of society. Society is the place. Also, overinflated egos combined with an inability to achieve success through normal avenues. <laughs>
Some disturbing news has just crossed my desk. Spider-Man was recently involved in a nauseating act of depravity. Stealing toys from children. Is there anything lower than that? One shady looking weapon, Steve. Get him out of here! Why can't you sell something nice? Like stickers or pizza? Screw this! We're leaving! in progress.
Hey, man. Haley told me where to find our criminal friend's setup. Hoping I could shut down however they're communicating with their boss. I'll check nearby cell phone towers. Do some network surveillance. See if I can figure it out so we can cut the connection. Dope. Call you when I'm there. Genki, guys are definitely set up here. Gonna clear them out. See if I can shut down this whole operation. Happy punching, Spider-Man. You talked to the big guy today? I'm supposed to hop on a call with him in a few. Not your fault the kid spider showed up and busted all our plans. All this guy cares about is results. But you've been with him for years. Gotta be quicker than that. You heard the bosses get desperate. Threatened to choke Brian the other day. Yes. What did he do? He's been acting as a go-between with the rap garden. Hey, what was that? Hate just waiting around. Let's say the boss gets taken out, thrown in isolation. Who takes over? Crazy thing. You looking for a promotion? You think you could do it? Guys, over here! Spider-Man's here! Heads up! I need that funny punk video every day! You better be gone! Ugh! <sighs> 
Okay. Now to head inside. Here she left the door. Needed to stay stuck. Not what I expected. There's got to be more here. Footprints. That vanish. Okay. Big ol' do not push button. I'm gonna push it. Whoa. Hey, pulled network data. Webcam calls to the raft are definitely coming from here. So cut the network connection, brick the computer, no more boss giving them orders. Exactly. basement hideout where they planned all their takedown Harlem schemes. Cool, cool, cool. Can you help me run a hybrid attack? Sure, but first try V-A-N-E-S-S-A. -S -S -A. Vanessa? If this setup belongs to who I think it does... What is this? Who are you? Oh, crap. Fisk. A child playing dress-up. Pretending to be Spider-Man. I can sever the connection from here. Just keep him talking. Fisk. I stop what you're doing in Harlem. You're done in my neighborhood. Your neighborhood? How touching. You'll learn that when you cross me, the people you want to protect are the ones who suffer. What did that mean? I don't know. But we have to find out. Dirty Fisk money. Guess we know how we kept these guys loyal. Even from prison. This looks like Fisk style. Doesn't care who gets hurt, as long as he wins. Beast North, Caleb's Barbershop, the power plant, everywhere they've targeted. Money, land, control. Fisk wants everything. Ugh, someone invested in a zoom lens. Fisk wants to find me. This is why Pete's always telling me to keep the mask on. I think I'll take this off their hands. I should head back to the park. Tell Haley I took care of these guys. Miles, Haley texted me. This guys are attacking CJ Walker Park. I thought I took him out! Some were scattered around the neighborhood. You've gotta hurry, man. They're going after people at the party. Tell Haley I'm on my way!
I was worried when I didn't see them. Tell Haley to keep everyone there till I'm done with these guys. I will. Did you hear? Spider-Man's looking out for Harlem. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's my home, too. <laughs> I doubt that. Bye, Haley. Hope to see you again. in Harlem thanks to us and don't say no miles thanks to you <laughs> okay you're right we did it together how's it feel to be Harlem's friendly neighborhood spider-man not gonna lie pretty good oh almost forgot to tell you. Danica Hart heard what we've been up to. She wants me to come on her show. Oh, that's awesome. You nervous? What? Nervous? No. I mean, oh crap, what should I wear? I don't think it matters, since it's a podcast. But what if she can hear that I'm wearing sweatpants? What if she wants to hop on webcam? Oh my god, I, I, I gotta get ready. Uh, uh, bye.
Miles, I'm getting a lot of reports of a helicopter out of control. about the transmitter. Helicopter's free. I'll let you go since you helped. Thanks. situation. Finn, Roxon, Underground, it's just a lot, you know? You're 17, you're stressed, and you're a superhero. You gotta cut yourself some slack. You still making beats? And not much since I started this. Work-life balance, kid. Most important thing. Here little project your dad and I started back in the day. Our mixtape. Had rhymes ready and everything. <laughs> How come I never heard about this? Because we never finished. We sampled street noise around the way. Wanted the city to be our beat. But your dad had the masters. And after things went bad between us... <sighs> but you can finish what we couldn't. Plus, it'll take your mind off work. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what do I do? Load that up. I'll walk you through it. I set up holograms to guide you. Yeah. It's 
scan the source. Holograms, huh? You still in my... Okay, don't think about Finn. Focus on sounds. Clear my head. Scan the holograms, and it'll unlock files on that drive I gave you. Hope you figure out which sound you're looking for. Now try and find the original sound, and grab a clean sample. Need to get a little further away so it doesn't distort. Great levels. You're in the pocket. Not a match, though. Keep looking. Good sound, but it's muffled. Try and get a clear line of sight. Need to be a little closer to get your levels right. There you go. Yeah, 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 that's it. Rest of the sounds you need are spread across the city. I left a few messages for you, too, to help you get a feel for each location. Oh, dope. Hmm. Not now. Hey! Get something you like? Yeah, really unique dynamics. See? Old man still knows his stuff. <laughs> and you were right about clearing my head, too. I know what to do about Finn. I gotta see her. Try to talk her out of all this. In person? Where? Trinity Church. Tomorrow night. Why so interested? Because you got a target on your back the size of Jersey. You don't have to protect me. Someone should. You know, you said you never finished this tape because of how things went bad between you and Dad. What actually happened between you two? It was complicated. We were too similar and too different. Finish the tape, get all the samples. And you'll hear the whole story. Promise. All right. Thanks, Unc. <gasps> Trinity Church. Remember, Tinker is yours. But leave the boy alone. Man, I needed that. I was beat. Okay. I'm gonna call Finn. As soon as I'm ready to go. Who doesn't love an ohm meter? Nobody. That's who. Mom? Genki? Anyone home? I think it's just me.
teammates. It's... That's your intro? Lame! We in the business call that burying the lead. Hype it up! Let me ask you something, Danny. Do you ever think about what you're inciting? About your journalistic integrity? More than some. Because your campaign against Roxon is baffling to an actual journalist like myself. You should be attacking the young, unproved vigilante who keeps causing problems in Harlem. What? You, you twist everything Spider-Man does into something malicious while simultaneously excusing everything Roxon does wrong. All Spider-Man needs for you to support him is to get a better PR department. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. The only problem Spider-Man fixes are the ones he causes. I won't praise the arsonist for putting out his fire. Meanwhile, Roxxon built a beautiful plaza in a failing neighborhood. By tearing down homes and businesses, our new Spider-Man is proving that Harlem isn't the failure Roxxon makes it out to be. And you, Mr. Jameson, for someone who claims to love New York, you sure do seem to hate New Yorkers. You are clearly emotional, young lady, so I'm invoking the mercy rule on this debate. Sure, shut it down. And whose idea was it to debate a teenager? There are no good optics to destroying a child. Get the car. I need a hot stone massage. Hello? Hello? Uh, yeah. Well, thanks for the debate that you demanded, Mr. Jameson. To everyone else, remember to stand up every half hour while working at a computer. Bye. Dad and I fell asleep listening to this sound every night when we were kids. It's got a good beat. Okay. Something rhythmic that was around when Dad and Uncle Aaron were little. Oh, that's good. I think it's back there. Not this way. probably don't know this, but your dad and I grew up not far from here, before we moved to Brooklyn in high school. Hearing the clatter of the wheels, the squealing when the trains turn or stop. Always makes me think of me and your dad's late night talks. Mostly about what we wanted to be when we grew up. I wanted to be a space angel. Your dad's dream changed. Doctor, firefighter, social worker. But he always wanted to help people. Yeah. Sounds like that. All right, time to call Finn. Hope she answers. Hi, Spider-Man. Finn, hey, we need to talk in person. So you can lie to me again? So I can make this right, please. Meet me at Trinity Church. No more lies, I promise. If you're screwing with me, fine. I'll see you there. At least she's willing to meet. Okay, Trinity Church, let's go. This is a good one. Me and your dad used to hang around here. Listen while the whole station came alive. That's what you need. Something at the station. I think hanging around here is how your dad got the idea to be a cop. I said, man, you're not uptight enough for that job. 
he wanted to make things better from the inside. Pretty sure he died trying. He did make things better, Dad. And so will I. This one was all your dad's idea. You need something that's always in this park. Quiet on their own. Loud in a group. Loud in a group? Uh, hmm. something you'd always find here. Like birds, or trees, or... No, no, not trees. What? Not this way. There's a lot of birds around here. Maybe? Say cheese! I think it's back there. <laughs> nah, getting too far away. I mean, 
hot dog vendors would be loud in a group, but I don't think that's right. Why do I even live here? I hate the cold. Dad record this. Is he a pigeon whisperer? This was way back, before high school. We were hanging in the park one day, and someone dropped a hot dog. You know how that goes. Place was swarming with pigeons. The dad stopped cold. He said, Aaron, man, that's music. Listen, the next day we were crawling all over Manhattan looking for beats, like you are now. I remember the first time they showed me how to sample. Uncle Aaron had the gear, and Dad had the ear for music. Happy. Today, I want to address some rumors making the rounds of the pool halls and sleazy bars. Suppose it. Wilson Fisk has been trying to destabilize Harlem in order to make it cheaper and easier for him to acquire properties. All from behind bars! Now, you all know my distaste for conspiracy theories. If there's proof, I will be the first to condemn malfeasance. But until that happens, it is poisonous, irresponsible, and wrong to repeat such baseless and inflammatory claims. That's the kind of behavior I'd expect from someone like Spider-Man. Several people have told me... He's mine! Gonna end you! Robbers, zero. Glad you're okay. Your mom lived here right after college. You know that? She and your dad were dating. Three of us spent a lot of time here. We got used to this soft, steady beat. Soft beat. The sun melts all the snow. Happy holidays, dude. Yeah, play the chat, Spidey. First time I'm alone for Hanukkah. But oh, that's okay. Well, I'm not... <sighs> rhythm, rhythm. Subtle, but it could be. Things were good back then. Felt like they'd be good forever. Your mom got her first gig as a teacher. Your dad was new to being a cop, and I just started calling myself the proud. I figured we all kept secrets about our jobs. But last though, your dad's job and mine crossed paths too often. Man, Uncle Aaron. 
you would have been anything else, my mom and dad would have supported you all the way. Times Square. Easy to find someone in the crowd here. Or lose them. Sound you need's like an electric current. A current? I could cheat it with Venom. <laughs> nah. So cold. Find all that crap in Harlem? Okay, well, I got I love how alive that feels. After I started calling myself a problem, met my first client right under the sun. Neon flags hard to miss. The crowd makes it easy to blend in. He wanted me to steal a painting. I looked across the square and saw your dad looking back at me. He never said anything. He just turned and left. He didn't know everything. Just that I was a thief. That was enough. I think he saw where you were headed long before I did. He would have tried to act right sooner, he would have forgiven you. I know he would have. This sound always feels like someone celebrating, even when it's just telling time. Your dad thought so too, so we had to include it. A sound that tells time. Okay. I'm not gonna find it over here. I remember... The last time I was here, your dad had just graduated from the police academy. I didn't go to the ceremony, so I met him here after. Bought us milkshakes. Strawberry for him, peanut butter for me. I don't know why I remember that. He said he couldn't cover for me anymore if I got in trouble. I told him I was done with that life. I was lying, but he believed me for a while. He was pretending to. Man, things got complicated between them.
This plaza and the blocks around it are alive with sound. What you're looking for is light, distinct. Light, huh? Okay. light though. Watch it. Something distinctive. the cheap knockoff Spider-Man impersonator. Huh? Probably something you don't usually hear in the city. I saw some wind chimes. If I can get close enough. Fresh out of high school then. Didn't have the gear or the mask. God paid me to mug his boss. Rough him up, took everything in his wallet. Your dad found out. He stood under those wind chimes yelling at me for an hour. He never told our folks. He made me promise I'd stop stealing. Wish I kept my word. Deserve better. I wish you had too. Maybe you and Dad would have stayed close. I can't imagine ever turning my back on my family. client I always met here. Got real used to waiting, listening, hearing this sound running on a tight schedule. A sound on a schedule?
fairy horns. That's right. <laughs> the clients I met here used to take the fairy. how your dad found out about the problem. Not that it was me, but a thief was making it big in New York, and your dad volunteered for the case. I could feel him closing in. I had to try and guess who should be worse. I told him. He caught me. That'd be me. I... I don't know what I'd do. That can't be the only reason dad cut him off. Not if he messed up. It just wasn't dad. Hey, young blood, you got almost everything you need for the trap. You just unlocked the spot where you can find the last piece. Yeah. Hope it works for you. Spot in Harlem. Wonder what the last piece is. Kidnapping squad down. Roxxon and the Underground are trading shots nearby.
subway tunnels. Guess a good thief needs a good hideout. Uncle Aaron's got tabs all over the city. He must have been building his network for years. My mom bought him this at a flea market. It was a joke about... Uh, can't remember. Always making upgrades. I definitely got my suit patching skills from Uncle Aaron. Sequencer? Sampler? Vintage? Oh, has to be him and Dad's equipment. He was always way better at guitar than me. He used to come to our place for dinner all the time. Guess he never learned to cook. Maybe I should take a few swings. Nah, I'd probably break it. Use the sounds. Frequency lock? Oh, something new every day.
That was a hell of a way to tell me you're Spider-Man. What if I'd killed you? You want me to feel bad because you almost killed me? I want you to stop lying to me! I let you in the underground because I thought you understood. I do understand. What Krieger did to Rick? Roxxon needs to pay. Not like this. This is the only way I can beat him. I need you to look the other way. Please. I can't. I made a promise. So did I. Why'd you pick here? My dad brought us. To that concert. Seven choirs from seven countries. Remember? Ghana was my favorite. Ghana wasn't there. You're thinking of Guinea. No, no, I'm pretty sure it was Ghana. Guinea, Belize, Poland, Cuba. South Korea, Thailand, Venezuela. You're right. I usually am. Usually. <laughs> what? She was going to be a handful. But you. I guess I was hoping that you and me would see eye to eye. Where are we? <sighs> You're behind the curtain, bud. <laughs> this is our most secure facility. And here the sausage gets made. You're a real prick. You know that? <laughs> you know, when. Her brother and I were developing new form. All you did was put your name on the patent. He said the only thing you knew how to do was sell other people's ideas. You know, at least I still got a pulse, babe. But let's not dwell, right? The first thing we're going to do is I'm going <laughs> to. Wow. <laughs> that is awesome. Are those involuntary defenses? Oh, man, that's hot. You see, I'm gonna get that mask off you. And I'm gonna find out what makes you tick. Because you just smell like next level bioengineering. And you know what that smells like to me, kid? <clears throat> that smells like money. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna hit the gym. Leg day, can't skip it. Get her to tell us where my new form is. Yeah. Can't really open the claws without it. Oh, and uh, use him. Time to finish what we started on the bridge. <laughs> no cameras now. <laughs> <laughs> Kill you. <clears throat> Holy shit. 
tougher than I look, huh? <laughs> Let's find a way out of here. Roxxon kept Rhino instead of giving him to the police. It's crazy. Nothing about Roxxon surprises me anymore. You okay? I will be, once we're out. I'm shutting off security cams. Can you check that computer? What did you find? There's the exit, through this office. We have to lift the base lock down first, from the control room. First, we need to escape the security wing. I'll go down to the floor, see what we're dealing with. Door's locked. Venom worked in the cell. Should work on... Hello. Unlocked. I'm headed to the floor. Right above you. That security door is our way out, but I'll have to hack a few terminals to disable the alarm. I'll handle the security goons. Security cameras are down to the south wing. Rhino probably turned them off. Heard he wanted to question the prisoners. Bet that other guy could get him. Spider made the squeal. Go wrong with security. There's two more ahead. How do we even find those two? Did Rhino track them? No, he's just a tool. Point and shoot. An outside agent gave us their location. Two more hours till shift change. Hold on. I think I heard something. Word of advice. Watch what you say. coming up. Seems like the whole future of the company staked on that place. Vince, we gotta talk. Blowing up the plaza is a bad idea. So is poisoning the city with an unsafe fuel source. Yeah, but there has to be a better way to deal with rock salt. Sometimes strategies are imperfect, like deciding to lie to your friends. Let's just focus on getting out. Fine, but we're gonna talk about this. <laughs>
On it. Looks like a voice memo from Krieger. I liked Rick Mason. I did, but... Bleeding hearts don't survive this business. Maybe we should set up a plaque in his memory or... Uh, oh, oh, uh, name a bench after him. <laughs> yeah, I bet he'd love that. Simon Krieger. Bastion of compassion. Hey, Roxxon's stealing your stuff. From what I hear, you are too. Thanks for that, by the way. Triggering the override. There's a voice memo on here. Sir, the police are asking about Rhino. What do we tell them? Our man at the Rav is setting up a special work release program. Tell the police Rhino's doing the little community service. Can't believe they got away with this. Doors unlocked, but I need you to force it open. Can do. Notes about Roxxon independent contractors. We need an outside partner to track Tinker and Spider-Man for us. Tombstone's off the grid. Black Cat's gone straight-ish. What about the guy in the purple? What did he go by? What was his name? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he'll do. Guy in purple? That can't be. No. No way. More info on Rhino. I know he says he wants out of that suit, but let's face it, the metal onesie is the only reason anyone gives a damn about him. Just upgrade his armor. If we help him smash Kid Spider, he'll forget all about wanting out. There's nobody this guy won't manipulate. You didn't like that. Here's the deal, bud. Spider-Man's the best leverage I got against Miss Mason. I mean, you caught them together. Well, I mean, you caught them, but it was thanks to your intel. So, clearly there's something going on there. You agreed to leave the kid alone. Uncle Aaron? Ah, uh, the kid. I love how you say that. It's just... So paternal. Let Spider-Man go, and I'll get you new. Feed you underground intel, whatever you want. See? Leverage works every time. My Spider-Man. Here's leverage for you. I've seen things. New form making people sick. What you did to Rick Mason. If I went public. Yeah, but you won't. Here's the deal. You're a wanted thief. Plus all the jobs we've done together. <laughs> but you'd be in the cell right next to mine. And we both know you're a little too self-serving for that. So we're going to head in and check on Miss Mason and Spider-Man. Uh, but it's kind of an invite-only party. Yeah. Bye. Roxxon, but I didn't think he'd... he'd sell me out. I can't believe this. Why do I keep listening to you? You didn't know. There has to be an explanation. I didn't know this would happen. Just save it. Let's keep moving. They initiated a lockdown. That's the control room we have to get into. So we need past those security shutters. Got a maintenance panel here, but it needs power. Let me see what I can do. Got power. Accessing. Ugh. I can't hotwire the shutters, but I can move machinery, like that crane. Maybe we can use that. I'll look around. They build engines for their APCs in here. Hey, 
I can raise and lower that crane. Is that useful? Maybe this crane can help us out somehow. May as well yank that crane. See what it does. Hey, crane's over this engine thing now. Engine thing. I've got an idea. Can you move the crane back to the assembly line? Yeah, think I know where you're headed. Laser should activate the engine. Oh crap! Laser shorted out. I think I can reroute power. The laser shorted, but it still works. Needs a new power source. Webs are conducting electricity. You're good. Use a laser. One laser coming up. Perfect. If I overcharge the engine, it'll be explosive. And explosive is just what we need to destroy those shutters. Time to make it explosive. Get down! Let's go! Almost out! That's our way out. Give me a few minutes to get it open. Looks like they guessed our plan. Not hard. There's only one exit. Alright. I'll take care of those guards. You get that door open. One thing. Did you ever think about calling me to tell me you were Spider-Man? You know, after my parents died, Rick basically had to become my dad. I thought I'd miss having a brother, but I had you. Finn, I... Get this door open! That won't hold forever! Go! I'll be fine, just go! Those guys with the lights on their helmets can spot heat signatures. They'll see you if you try to go invisible. Wonder how much of their R&D department is dedicated to fighting us. Probably millions of dollars in untaxed money. You clear the floor, I'll work on overriding security so we can get out. I can still access machinery if you need me to move anything. Good in there? Yeah, those webs are holding the door. Whole base is on alert, though, so be careful. Spider Man! They know you're here. They're calling reinforcements. Guess I'm doing this the loud way. This one. I see it. <laughs> 
Those guys with the lights on their helmets can spot heat signatures. They'll see you if you try to go invisible. Wonder how much of their R&D department is dedicated to fighting us. Probably millions of dollars in untaxed money. You clear the floor, I'll work on overriding security so we can get out. I can still access machinery if you need me to move anything. Bet you didn't see that coming. You good in there? Yeah, those webs are holding the door. Whole base is on alert though, so be careful. You gotta be quicker than that. accepting that. Lethal force is authorized! I'm through. Meet me in the showroom on the far side of the assembly line. See you there. Keep moving! Stay ready to engage! Lights out for you. Looks like they locked the doors. I'll find another way. What if we went public about Rick's death? Do you have proof? Because I don't think the word of two vigilantes is going to convince people. There's got to be a way. I think that's the exit. Hey. Lost and found. Thanks. I know this place. This is Krieger's lab. Krieger has a lab? Mostly for show, but yeah. Rick showed me a photo once. Krieger's lab. Wait. All the current new front project data is on here. Toxicity reports, 
failed safety reviews, and Krieger's names on everything. This would destroy Roxxon. You like my new color? Immune to your little zappy pops. Zappy pops? Come on, man. Now, be finished this! Stay focused. 
Tanques! Limpamos os caras! Sure he doesn't do anything. I'll be right back. Krieger Sato shut Roxon down the right way. You know, Krieger told me how your brother died. Very amusing. Shut up. <laughs> he also told me. It was your fault. <laughs> Krieger updated the reactor. Tried to supercharge it to make his deadline. If Finn goes through with her plan... Oh my god. Harlan. You watched him die. I'm gonna go grab a washcloth. Some antibiotics. Miles? Where have you... Pero que pasó? What are you wearing? I have to tell you something. Finn's attacking the plaza. Yeah. So that was you chasing her through the city. The Spider-Man. You could have died. No lo puedo creer. Why didn't you tell me about any of this? All those talks we had? How to keep yourself safe? But this... <laughs> didn't want you to worry. And the other Spider-Man's gone. I just keep 
making things worse and worse. And I was screwed up things with you. Miles, there is nothing you could ever do or ever be that would make me stop loving you. Nada. You give me strength, Miles. That's all a hero really is. Someone who's brave for the people they love. Just a guy who doesn't give up. Gloria's handling feast, and Teo's gonna help us go door to door. Perfect. Let's get this evacuation started. I'll meet you outside. You remind me more of your father every day. Mm. You stay safe. Oh, well. Hey, I'm telling people in Harlem they need to evacuate before me and your mom go door to door. Okay, cool. I... I wanted to say, thanks for always having my back, man. Hey, I could use your help before you go. You got it. I want to cross-reference underground activity with buildings that could store a new form. Maybe you could hack Oscorp surveillance towers, or... I'm in. It'll take a while to narrow down. That's all right. Thanks, man. Gonna stretch my legs a little, then head out. Genki tracks down Finn. I should check the app. See if people need help. Stocked up on 